Hi guys, welcome to a short video about ShareX and my recommended uh, settings and a few tips and tricks. So I'm using ShareX now since about one week and before I've been using the Lightroom which was uh, way more simple and with ShareX it's a little bit more difficult but you have way more options I think and it's open source and free and uh, then that's the reason why I'm using this now and it has way more options so usually after installing and starting it uh, it will uh, start with your computer and uh, to go into the options I recommend to right click here and then uh, open the main uh, menu that's uh, the easier thing then what I'm using here is the after capture task so here it's important to select what you need like copy image to clipboard which I'm using uh, all the time even if I not need it uh, but it doesn't hurt to have it in the clipboard so I don't have to select it if I really need that and save image to file of course and then destinations uh, destination of the image upload I'm using the image UR and uh, yeah what I recommend to uh, use specific destination settings if you are using that I mean it's not default uploading to that it's just I have to select this option if I want to if I just if I just uh, capture a screen it won't upload I really have to go from the menu I'm going to show you how to do that so and uh, yeah regarding the image you are I'm using the destination settings you can use like a login this is really good this is much more than what you can do with the light shot uh, you can really do a login and then it will upload everything to your account and you have full control and you can delete everything and it, it's much better so I can uh, recommend to use that I'm going to close that here again and then of course we need a pass where to save the images that's in the application settings here and uh, here we have the pass and I've been using the light shot the old one from my old tool uh, but you can use uh, the normal share X or whatever you want to uh, use but it's it's important to uh, know where your uh, screenshots are yeah by the way I forgot this a little bit after capture task what I have been disabling is uh, upload image to host I think this is a default value upload to host and then will it will go uh, to image you are e -M -I -M -G -U -R. it will go automatically on an anonymous base uh, to this website and everybody has access to that that's probably not what you want I don't know why they use this uh, default is really dangerous so I just have activated this you can see it has a small frame what you activate or deactivate so uh, definitely uh, deactivate this if you not really need that then also some hotkey settings I have you can just click here when you want to assign something I have uh, assigned capture entire screen to none and I have assigned capture region because I uh, work with region I you can click here and then click the print screen button and then you have a print screen on the region and then something in the task settings yeah the, these things are all over the place these settings yeah it's it, it's uh, it's a shame I mean there should be like a, a basic setting and uh, like an advanced setting so there's just the advanced with one million options uh, in a task setting if you are working with a capture region then uh, this is the thing here and I had to activate this multi region mode and I have uh, so you have the chance to adjust after you uh, select the area otherwise if you release the left mouse as a cursor it will instantly finalize the screenshot so if you activate if you activate this it won't finalize instantly and you have the chance to assign like a cancel capture or something like that so I'm going to show, show you how this works I'm pr uh, pressing the print screen now you can see now I'm making this uh, rectangle here and I have the chance to adjust it otherwise you wouldn't have the, the chance to adjust it and if you want to finalize you just hit the enter key 
and it will make the screenshot here. Then what's important to know, you have the image history where you have all your uh, images. That's uh, pretty cool here. And you can also go to the history here and you see uh, what has been done. You can see when uh, something has been uploading. So you can see since uh, two days there was no upload here. And so you can check every now and then if something was uploaded just by chance or by accident and you didn't want that. You can uh, go to an image here and right click and then click on edit image and you have a couple of things. This is something which I've been missing a little bit. With the light shot it was a little bit easier but you still have a couple of things which you can do and then go from here to the uh, clipboard and then uh, you, you can share it like with these uh, additions here. So the thing is, yeah, you have much more uh, choices, but uh, there are a lot of things which uh, can go wrong as well. This is a little bit uh, sad, and but you have to just keep these things in mind, or especially history. Just keep an eye on the history, that's really important. Check uh, what has been uh, going here to make sure that not something is uploaded which you don't want. I mean, it's really important. Apart from that, you will find out over time what you have to do. It's not so difficult. It's just a little bit confusing at the beginning. And uh, I think that's it for now. I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments or uh, better suggestions, uh, things which I've been missing, pre please write everything down into the feedback area. I'm always happy to talk about new things and learn new stuff. And, and if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.